Chelsea Clinton says abortion helps economy, gets brutal surprise. Leave it to Chelsea Clinton, the offspring of Bill and Hillary Clinton to make the sick statement, pro-choice is pro-life. Abortion added three and a half trillion dollars to our economy. Clinton was trying to say since women aborted babies, they didn't have to raise kids and were able to contribute to the U.S. economy. Well, Clinton got a brutal surprise, making her look like a buffoon and proving that she's nothing but a big fat liar. You'll love this. What kind of disgusting person praises abortion? One raised by Bill and Hillary Clinton. If you can't convince someone to support abortion with bodily rights arguments, try pushing the money angle, Chelsea Clinton told a group of abortion activists Saturday. CNS News reports Clinton claimed the infamous U.S. Supreme Court case Roe v. Wade was a good thing, not only because it gave women the dignity to make our own choices, but also because it led to a $3.5 trillion boost to America's economy. It is not a disconnected fact that American women entering the labor force from 1973 to 2009 added three and a half trillion dollars to our economy. Right? Clinton said during a Rise Up for Row rally protesting U.S. Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. The net, new entrance of women, that is not disconnected from the fact that Roe became the law of the land in January of 1973, she continued. Except, she's done wrong. Her fuzzy math just doesn't add up. But even if it did, how in the hell does someone talk so flippantly about killing babies in the womb like it's a money thing? The truth is that those women entering the workforce did not do so because they had abortions. She's selling one huge sick lie. Let's review the truth. From 1990 and back to 1973, 12,700,000 female babies were aborted. Had they not been aborted, they would have on average each given birth themselves by now to their own child. These never were conceived children would have today been part of the total U.S. population, so they must be counted as missing. These are called ghost numbers, or ghost abortions, people who can never be considered because their mothers were not allowed to be born. But in any accounting of the total effects of abortion, of course, they must be included. So when you add the total number of Americans directly killed by abortion since 1973, almost 58 million, to the total who are not here because of abortion indirectly, the impact on the American population is 70 million fewer Americans because of abortion. Now, take that number and plug it into an economic variable called the gross domestic product, GDP, per capita. That number takes the total worth of a country and divides it by the total population to place a dollar equivalent on each person, how much economic activity does each person produce and consume. It includes everything, houses, cars, appliances, movies, manufacturing, everything. Every single dollar in the economy. When you divide the total wealth of America by its current population, you get a GDP per capita of about $54,000 which means that the total contribution of each American to the overall economy is calculated by the United States government at $54,000. Now when you marry up that number with the total number of Americans not in the economy owing to abortion which is not just 58 million, but rather 70 million, the economic impact is near beyond comprehension. 70 million people times $54,000 is just a couple hundred billion dollars shy of $4 trillion. $4 trillion missing from the U.S. economy because of abortion. Obviously, we aren't boiling this diabolical evil down to just money, but in all the horrible ways that abortion affects the culture, this is one that gets little attention. In addition to the spiritual, psychological, emotional, physical toll of abortion, there is also a financial toll. Your taxes are higher, things cost more, the economy is weaker, all because of abortion. If leftists won't reject abortion because of God, or natural law, or pure logic, at the very least they can reject it because of the wrecking of the economy. Think of all the contributions that could have been made by 70 million missing Americans. How can we ever calculate their worth? All the missing sons and daughters, maybe one of the aborted could have cured cancer by now. Our Constitution says we have a right to life. The only choice those sickos who support abortion should have is before the baby is conceived. As the daughter of Hillary Clinton, 
you'd think Chelsea would be thanking her lucky stars that her dear mother didn't abort her. But if she did, I guess by Chelsea's standards, it would be a gain for the American economy. Clinton's deception is nothing new. More Americans mean more production, more consumption, and a stronger economy. Help spread the truth and combat